by the United States in decoupling, et cetera. To my Chinese friends, I say, um, we don't have to condone the sort of supremacist attitudes that are exhibited by American leaders. Many of us thought that Joe Biden would be different, but it, he was true to his people. And essentially, we have to understand Asia, China, particularly at this point, that the first time in four or 500 years, Western civilizations have been confronted by a non-Caucasian civilization. It's called China. And this is very painful. I tell my Western friends, particularly Americans, I understand your pain, but get used to it. And we will not, you, but we don't condone it. So to my Chinese friends, I say, you have to weather the storm, but it'll go away and don't get trapped in a war. Uh, the Americans will try to do everything to provoke you, but they will get over their pain and come to the table sooner rather than later. But they are going through a difficult pain a period of not being able to come to terms with sharing and not being number one. For four or 500 years, the Western world has dominated, and mainly the Anglosphere, and we, we can understand. This will change with time. But I urge China to lead the developing world in the common prosperity pursuit and redefine economics. 